Here's one of my favorite tools, um, and it has been since analog days. Um, I can't remember what year, 1988, I don't remember when I saw my first hands app at, a, at the Guitar Center in LA. It wasn't even on sale yet. They just had it stuck behind the counter on a big plastic thing, perspex thing, so you couldn't run off with it little pedal with all these little dip switches on it, which is called the classic now. And um, I tried it out and loved it. I ordered two and they got them for me pretty quick. And um, I started using them with a band called um, Los Lobos. It was, the record was called Kiko. And um, in those days, I generally, I tried to buy a new guitar pedal, you know, on every session, whether it was $50 or $25 or $150, just have something new for the session pedal just blew my mind because it ended up on every instrument. It was, um, it started out on drums and went on to flute, saxophone, bass. It became a bass sound for everything. I, I didn't use a bass amp after that, literally never since the Sans amp. Um, oddly enough, I reuse them rarely on guitars, but uh, drums, like especially kick drum, it's on everything that I do. And I use them like an EQ as well. If I just want to change an acoustic guitar sound a little bit, not too much distortion, just use it as an EQ, I'll do that. Uh, sometimes in parallel, sometimes not. Uh, it's, it's always different. And here I'm going to try a little bit on this kick drum and just see what it does. I don't know what it's going to do. That's just the kick drum sound. Put a little bit of a filter on here, 33 hertz, 18 dB per octave, no, no biggie. And let's see what the Sans app has given me here. Well, it's definitely messing with my phase. So I'm going to need something to mess play with that. So yeah, it just, uh, it just does crazy stuff when you bring it. Now all the top's gone, um, but you can play with that. It's a wonderful thing to play with. So, um, I mean, you can play with it. Just put the low pass filter in, play with your phase. Now I was thinking about something a bit more crunchy. So let's see how far we can go with it. That's pretty cool. That's kind of, I kind of like that. I don't know if I want it. I, I, I like a lot of mid-range, like lower. I don't like ticky kick drums but, as a rule, but um, maybe some of that kind of growl in there. I don't know. Let's see. for a bit more ground.
to see if I can punch that out a little bit with an expander. I might not like it later. So I, I'm just going back and forth and I'll do this the whole mix. I just go back and forth between instruments and elements, trying stuff, taking it off. You know, some most of the time it works. I just go through it and sometimes it doesn't work so well and I go back, retrace my steps, get rid of a lot of stuff that I've done. Um, anything goes.